Welcome to the Richard Lloyd USA YouTube channel. I'm Richard Lloyd. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect a USB only printer to a TP-Link router. Uh, you can do this by connecting the uh, USB printer to one of the USB ports on a TP-Link. And I'm going to be using an Archer C9 today, right here. And it has two USB ports and uh, uh, I'll go through the uh, explanation of how to do all this. Okay, so uh, let's start with what you should have to begin this. Now, uh, what this is going to allow you to do is take your printer off a, a USB printer off a standard PC or laptop and network it through your router. You'll be able to print to it through Wi-Fi and through Ethernet if you wish, okay? So what we got, what I've got set up here is I've got a USB uh, PC or laptop, same thing as long as it's uh, the printer's connected to it, and the printer connected to it through a USB uh, uh, cable, A to B is what I'm using, and I think that's the standard for most routers, uh, most printers anyway. So uh, you need to have this configuration working perfectly on your computer first and you know say you've got four computers on the network you have to set up that printer on every one of those four uh, computers physically directly to that uh, to the to each of the, the four computers before they can print to the network okay so basically you have to install the printer four times locally to the PC and then Disconnect it from there and put it on the, onto the router. And then all those four uh, machines, uh, if you follow the procedure I show you in this video, uh, will be able to print remotely to that uh, printer through the router, either through Ethernet or through Wi-Fi. Okay, and I'm connected through Wi-Fi today um, because I just wanted to show you uh, that it, we can do it wirelessly, no problem at all. It'll work either way. So. Uh, I'm, doing, uh, I'm using the TP-Link Archer C9. Let's go to the next slide here. And the Archer C9 has two USB ports, one on the side, which is a, a USB 3, and the other is a USB 2 on the back. I'm going to be using the USB 2 on the back. It doesn't matter which one you use. In this case, either port will work. Uh, I'm using the one on the back just because it's easier. Uh, but if you were going to connect two things to this printer, like a, a hard drive and this printer, uh, sorry, connect two things to this router like a hard drive and the printer which you can do uh, I would suggest that you plug the printer into the USB 2 port because the printer doesn't need that much data throughput and the hard drive can use all the data throughput it can it can get and USB 3 is faster than USB 2 okay so uh, another thing to watch out for when you're connecting this uh, cable to your printer uh, is these three ports, oh, mine has three ports. Uh, you may have a, a, a USB printer that doesn't have any of these ports except for the USB port, which case you're okay. Uh, but in my case, I got three. And the thing to watch out for is that the USB A, uh, sorry, B uh, cable will plug into the telephone jack. It'll plug into the Ethernet jack. And I did this with the power off and the, and the power cord disconnected so I wouldn't fry anything. And it will power, it will plug into the uh, USB A, uh, sorry, B port. And that's where you want it plugged in, obviously. And so, yeah, be careful with that. Don't plug it into the wrong one. You might damage the port or, or do something to the, to the printer you don't want to do if you have these three ports. Otherwise, it's a keyed port. If you go back here, I'll show you the key. You see that it's keyed in here and you can see that it only it's only going to go in one way so if you go if you try and put it in it doesn't fit just turn it 90 degrees try again 90 degrees one more time and the third time 90 degrees by that time you've covered the entire spectrum you should have it in, uh, in, plugged in so so watch out for this for sure and make sure you have it plugged in correctly okay so next thing you're going to need to do is make sure well i'll show you something here on mine um, is that the printer is installed and working correctly so uh, and by the way it's locally installed right now meaning that it's plugged into my USB port on this computer on the on the tower PC that I have now it says driver error but this is some sort of issue that Windows is having with my HP printer currently uh, after the last Windows update but doesn't matter if I go over here to manage uh, and say print a, a test page it will print so it's some sort of error on Microsoft's part no idea why but 
here's a test print and it's good right so it's working perfectly so first thing you need, need to do here if it's connected to your computer and uh, is to disconnect the printer from your print from your computer and uh, go over here to the uh, I, hidden icons which I have uh, one of them is your uh, remove hardware and eject uh, uh, media button so we're gonna go to that click on it and in here you're gonna see that I have the option to eject the Hewlett Packard HP laser jet printer because you know it's there plugged into the USB port so you want to always remove USB devices by doing this first okay otherwise uh, Windows will complain so there it is safe to remove the hardware so there we go and now I've got the uh, USB port cable unplugged uh, next thing we need to do is to go to uh, TP-Link and let's go here type it in uh, TP-Link and get the software that emulates uh, um, basically it fakes out the computer into making it think that the printer is actually plugged into one of the USB ports on the physical computer when it's actually plugged into uh, the uh, router okay so uh, we go to TP-Link here and we're going to the actual website and uh, okay so there we go and where you want to go to is here to, to download center so support download center uh, scroll down to your type well this is an archer uh, c9 you know whatever type you have type that model in here and it'll easily and quickly find it and then i got a version one check on the label on the back of your, your router to see which version you have not sure whether it really matters but let's get rid of this window here uh, you can see here that we have a usb printer controller utility for Windows okay and there's several here so I, there's an older one and a newer one and also if you have a Mac this will work on it I can't show you the Mac because I don't have one but uh, it does have the capability here to be used on a Mac as well so let's go over here and download what looks like let's see yeah this is the latest um, looks like it got smaller too but uh, 21 so we're going to download the latest version of this you can play with it if you wish but I'm just going with the straight one the newest one is probably the best one I mean that's the assumption anyway so here we're going to go to the uh, folder and you can see I've downloaded here in my downloads directory and it is a zip file so just right click it and choose extract all here there are, are other ways of doing this so I'm just I just go this way this is easy and fast for me so there it is and now I'm in the download directory I should have let's get rid of some of this stuff I should have a zip file and a regular folder here so uh, here we're gonna go to setup and you get this Windows protected your PC uh, unrecognized app well uh, probably means that this app hasn't been written with uh, uh, approval from Windows or Microsoft so it doesn't matter just go to here to more info and click run anyway right here's why unknown publisher so uh, TP link should work to fix that run anyway and click yes there we go it's a quick install I'll get this out of the way uh, welcome to the install let's just keep going you know just next 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 basically you can change where you want to put it if you wish and you can see over here already that I have a USB printer controller icon and then it says launch USB printer controller so this is pretty straightforward right so we hit finish here and that's it I thought it was gonna launch it but it did not so I'll just double click it and open it up ah beautiful okay this is a Windows security alert what this is about is the firewall okay so this is really important that you do this right you want to click on both these check marks you can experiment with this but I just find that using both is, is the most compatible right uh, so I'm gonna hit on both these check marks private and public this computer will never be on a public network anyway so allow access and there we have 
the printer controller and you can see here in really small print Archer C9 version 1 and its IP address is 192.168.0.1 and we're going to go there we're going to okay so at this point we're ready to go as far as plugging the, the uh, printer go in so we take the USB A the A side plug it into the router and no other option really there we go and instantly it finds it as Hewlett Packard laser jet MFP 26 da 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 now I don't know why but you really can't see what these things do here but if you hover over the buttons you'll you'll get options on what they do right so uh, here we've got disconnect and auto connect now you want it in my case I want to auto connect so every time I reboot this computer it auto connects and you know run uh, connects to the printer and I'm ready to go and print so I'm gonna go click on here and set auto connect printer and once you do that that's it let's look at these buttons here we got system to exit and we have configuration so let's go over here to configuration automatically execute when logging windows of course English language you can change these if you want but if it doesn't automatically execute before you can print you'll have to run this uh, click on the icon on the screen here to run this program so I'm just gonna hit automatic so when I reboot it automatically happens right so uh, auto connect printer list and there you have that the Hewlett Packard's already done but you could you know delete it or leave it there and which I'm going to leave it and uh, then you've got uh, let's go over here to tools connect for scanning that'll allow you to scan from the printer as well um, and there we go you see that it's popped up and uh, I guess I could test it uh, let's put a test sheet in there See what we get. All right, and uh, let's hit the scan button. Uh, color picture. No, we don't want the flatbed. We're going to do the document feeder, and hit scan. Next. Looks like it's going to work. Yep. And there you go, a little lopsided, but it doesn't matter. You can see that it's, you know, done the Windows printer test sheet. Uh, here we hit, hit finish, and now it's scanned in. So, I've got full functionality. I'm connected only through the, the uh, uh, router. And again, you, like I said, you have to do this on every PC that you are going to want to print from this. So if I wanted to print from my laptop, I'd have to connect the printer to the laptop and do this pro procedure. Okay, so... That's basically it, how you install the TP-Link USB printer controller to print from USB on your router. And it's a really handy feature. I really like it a lot. And uh, But uh, one more thing. If you have Ethernet, and I'll put a card up for this, on your printer, I find that it's much easier uh, to configure it and, and install it on, all, on my network computers if you use Ethernet instead right so if you have ethernet you can either connect the eth an ethernet cable to your router and then print to it that way or do what the card I, that i'm going to put up here does and that is put a, uh, a wi-fi network extender on it and then you can move the printer anywhere you want connect it to your network and print from it remotely really really cool watch that video okay so that's it for my video um in the video description below i'll put links to the products and 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 uh uh, you know things I used in this video like the router uh, I don't think they even make the router anymore but I'll put a compatible one I think the C1900 is compatible it has two USB ports and also the uh, uh, on the USB cables that you can get a USB cable up to 50 feet for USB A to B so you can put the, key, the printer quite a ways away from the router uh, so that's another option also uh, all those links are affiliate links they help me out and basically, when you uh, buy through those links, it just takes you to Amazon and eBay, and you get the product, uh, you know, for the same price as you would uh, for going directly. But I get a little, uh, a little commission on, e on each one of those uh, uh, purchases. So I really appreciate when you do that. That helps me a lot. So if you're going to buy, 
go to to the links in the video descri description also a comment section below the video uh <laughs> video description you'll have the comment section where you can put your comments suggestions questions whatever you want to say to me down there i always look at them and i, and I respond to them regularly usually every day uh, and I keep up with them as best I can. I do get a lot of comments, so forgive me if I fall a little behind once in a while. Okay, also, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, give me a thumbs up, click the like button down here under the video. Uh, it helps my channel, helps my video, and I really, really appreciate that. Uh, I, as well, if you like my content, consider subscribing, click the subscribe button. That subscribes you to my channel. And as part of the process of doing that, you'll see a bell icon. Click the bell icon and then you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. And then you can watch the video at your own leisure. Once again, and like always, I want to thank you for watching, supporting my efforts here. Stay happy, stay healthy, and we'll see you on the next video.